Well, today, take the hard drive that's actually in this easy store hard drive that I got on Black Friday at Best Buy. It's a 14 terabyte from Western Digital. I want the hard drive out of this because I'm putting the hard drives from this guy and actually uh, two exactly the same units into my new Synology server that I got. So um, I've already done the Synology setup video, but I decided to post this at the same time. This is the last one, the shock. I've already done two of them. So I thought I'd do this with my camera and I'll show you how I did it. I'm gonna try another method to see if it works any better, but uh, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Ge Geeksmart. So today we're going into this. We're gonna bring the video in, take it out of the box, rip the hard drive out of it. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pop open the box itself. Oh, my fancy letter opener. <laughs> All right, so this is just the 14 terabyte standard easy store that you can get that, well, right now you can see at the bottom, it's a Best Buy exclusive on this one. Um, but they had it at a ridiculously awesome price this last Black Friday, so couldn't help but get a few of them. Uh, I actually bought one, used, I mean, I actually had it running as as is, then I bought two more knowing that eventually I was gonna get a Synology server. So basically, uh, the nice thing about these is they're pretty. Not, they're not hard to, to take apart. However, taking apart without damaging or, or breaking the plastic tabs that are in here, um, that's the whole thing, right? And if you're planning on taking the hard drive out of this, put another one in, you may have to tape it back shut if you are not careful with it because there are actual plastic tabs. I think right here, there, there's four of them in total. Uh, I used just this plastic spludger kind of guy um, to just uh, get in there and, and break the tabs. I, I just broke the tabs real quick and then you pull it out. I give it a try with this just a blank CD. Uh, I haven't tried that yet, so maybe I have to get it prepped. All right, so kind of open it up a little bit. Eh, maybe not. Oh, no, she opened up there. You can kind of peep. Uh, nah, it's breaking the tabs. I don't. I don't see how I'm gonna get this without breaking the tabs. So I'm just gonna show you how I did it because you just kind of pop it open from the side here, right? You see the one side, right? And then there are. I think there are a couple more tabs down here too. But basically, yeah, you just pop it loose, and then you go to the other side. And you just get in there. Do, do, do. And once you get your fingers in there, you can just use your fingers. It's not too difficult, to be honest about it. Um, and then once I get it out, I can show you exactly what it is. Because I'm not looking to keep the plastic housing. I don't. I really don't care. Um, but there's the hard drive. Everything's on this chassis. Um, but you can see the plastic tabs right there that I broke. There's two, one there, one there, one there. And then two more on that down there. Um, and, and actually there's nothing more, it just it actually just slides out, it's just probably the plastic pieces right away. So, once you have that out, or uh, basically the, the, the actual piece here, you, the, this cover is just a, a fancy cover, that's all it is. Um, you could actually run it like this if you wanted to, it's just that you know, you're more exposed, right? Um, so in this case, to get this out of here, it's actually just sitting on these, uh, these four pieces, we actually just... What uh, I've been doing is just kind of, see this is the old front here, you just kind of peel it out like that, right? Pretty simple. Um, and then these four rubber feet just pop off, and then you have to use a torque uh, uh, wrench to take these four bolts out that actually the rubber feet sat on. Um, and then there's a single screw right here to remove the actual board. So, I'm gonna do that real quick. Do, 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 do. This is a, I believe this is the right one. Yeah, it looks like T9.
And then this is just a Phillips rent, a screwdriver here. And this is just actually popped into one of the screw holes there. And we can just actually pull it out of the SATA connection, that's it. And so you could actually, if you wanted to, you could actually uh, maybe have a you know, 3D print a new enclosure or something for this plugged into any um, SATA hard drive should actually function, to be honest about it. Uh, and then it gives you the USB 3 connection with power and of course the power connectors in the box. So that's that. And now we have a free, well, in this case, a 14, ter <clears throat> 14 terabyte hard drive at a really, really good price. Now, hard drives in general, um, you know, they have different ratings. Some are better for NAS ratings, some are better for enterprise, some are more home use. This is definitely a home use hard drive. So it does not gonna have the same read write access as like typically a, a fast or, or an enterprise drive would have, especially how long it's supposed to last. But I wanted to get as much storage as possible, as inexpensively as possible, at least to get into a new Synology server and then I can look at better hard drives down the road and swap out as necessary. And the price for these 14 terabyte, I couldn't say no to. Re in reality, I just couldn't do it. So, I'm happy to say that I've got three of these. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna see how it works. Um, maybe in a year, I'll regret doing this. But if nothing else, I'm gonna share it along the way. So, um, let my failures or whatever help learn you. So. Uh, but yeah, if you're obviously looking at getting a fairly inexpensive, well, 14 terabyte was way cheaper than even this. Uh, the 16 terabyte was quite a bit more, but they didn't have the deal on that. The 14 terabyte is where the deal was. So that's it. It's shucked. It's ready to go. And well, of course, we'll have more videos here in the near future. And if nothing else, if you haven't watched the video on my Synology setup, where I actually am using these drives, make sure you watch that. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you back here on GeekSmart for another future video install. So... We'll see you soon.